Hey everybody, it's Barbie at Nellie and Ruth Designs. Uh, I got out here gardening and I thought that this would be a nice little uh, video to show you um, what my plans are and what I'm working on right now. I was out early this morning, oh, between 8.30 and quarter 10, and then it was um, time to watch F1. <laughs> So I took a break, I showered, took a break, had breakfast, and uh, the race is over. I think it's 10, 11, 12, maybe 12.30 right around now, and I'm back outside. Um, it's a hot and humid day, but I wanted to show you, this is a, I thought I'd work in one of the cooler spots today, but I came out to, I'm going to show you, I came out to weed in my junipers. Okay, these are newly planted and because we've had so much rain and such, uh, I wanted to get these grasses out, which I have been doing. Uh, but me, you know, it's like when you go to clean the crumbs out of a silverware drawer, you end up remodeling your kitchen. The next thing you know, you have a contractor in um, putting new cabinets in and all new state-of-the-art appliances. Well. I decided this boulder wall is killing me because it's never looked like this before. Down below here, there's all kinds of stone stairs, steps. Uh, this is the entrance to the back of our property. And it's a real eyesore when you come in. And when I come out with the dogs to play, it's still an eyesore. So you can see, you could see before the back of my mule, I have my uh, what's this a five gallon drum almost filled and these top stairs here were just covered with vines and I have to be careful because I nope nope I think a toad just went down in here um, but I, I have to be careful so I don't trip and fall down this boulder wall but my goal and I thought I'd share it with you is to clean up get all of the steps and stairs exposed and um, the only thing I want, le I want left down here are the uh, milkweed, the bee balm, and I think that's all that's in bloom right now. I'm going to walk down the steps here so I can show you. But we have, you can see some of the bee balm, the red bee balm popping through, but the butterflies and the bees are starting to come to feed and pollinate and do what they do best. So, I just thought I'd share with you. These are a set of stairs here, and you can see the vines. I don't mind the ferns, but I'm not crazy about the weeds, the uh, everything else that goes with it. Um, I also have a very large groundhog um, that is living somewhere in this boulder wall, and I am bound and determined to find his hole. Uh, I have a, have a heart trap. I've been setting it with cantaloupe and sardines, but he's not taking the bait. So I have to find, there's one hole over on the left side of the stone bench over there that he runs down into. And I know he has an exit hole over in here. So I am on the hunt for the groundhog's um, headquarters. So I'm going to continue to work. And as I plow through this, I will show you, um, I'll show you what I get done today, and I think it's just going to be a little ongoing series. So I hope you stick around and see the improvement. One of the things I have to do when I'm down here on this wall, I'm down a little bit lower. You can see I've missed a couple, uh, little plant there, but the upper arbs are uh, being weeded quite nicely. Um, but what I need to do now before I go down to my next layer, which is going to be right down here, all of these vines, I have to take all of this lichen off of these rocks. Um, it can get very slippery. I have slid on these in the past. I always liked uh, the way the lichen looks on the rocks because I like the natural um, look of it, and it's really pretty, and I love to see all the little... Uh, spores grow out of it but I don't want to have that on here anymore um, I've had landscapers <laughs> that have backed up they were working on the wall and they've 
their feet have given out underneath them. And so right now, that's what I'm going to be doing until I get to the next phase. And then usually what I do is I come out with a squirt bottle of Clorox and water, and then I just give it a good dousing, and then the Clorox will kill the rest of it off. So I'm going to get this scraped off, and then I'm going to head down here to the next row where these vines are, and I will be back. Okay, so a little out of breath. <laughs> I've been pulling and sweeping. So you can see here the difference. Um, I have all of those. They were all like a grapevine that was attached and climbing up this part of the wall right here. And uh, these rocks here, when they were first put in almost 30 years ago, um, they were flat and we had like a gone with the wind staircase uh, around this stone wall. Uh, you can see now where erosion has taken place and you can see how they're tilting back. So they aren't the safest to walk on and that's another reason why I need to get uh, the lichen off of these. Down below you can see I have gotten in there. Um, I'm going to go in for lunch in just a minute and have hubby check me for ticks <laughs> because it was, let me get up here on one of the rocks here. It looked like this, okay? And <clears throat> lo and behold, my husband came out to take some photos of me because that's what he does. He thinks he's a photojournalist. And uh, there was the biggest, I still say it was a grouse, but my husband thinks it was a turkey. Uh, grouse and turkey make two very distinctive sounds. And I believe it was a grouse, but we, I flushed it right out of this area. And I so wish that I had gotten it on camera because he flew right over into the woods here. And he was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so maybe I can walk over here. But you can see the difference, uh, which is making a nice difference here. So I'm getting there. Uh, down here, I have left, I have a very large pile of rubble <laughs> uh, down below that I have clipped. Um, but it's, like I said, it's getting there. I've raked, I've swept, I've pulled, I've cut, and uh, it's coming along nicely. So I'm going to take a break, and hopefully the rain will hold off and I can do a little bit more. I wanted to show you this flowering shrub that I have out here by our gazebo. And I cannot tell you the name of it. I just, I, I just can't think of it. But I just wanna show you the absolutely beautiful flowers that it produces. And I do have some little wild daisies that get mixed in with it. And they're just so very pretty. gets into focus here and I this needs a trim back I'll be trimming this back obviously but it's very 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 pretty and you can see it from you know a mile away and I just love it here you know it's right next to this big rock and um, yeah it's just another nice little spot on the property that I can walk out to with my morning coffee and take a look at it and see how it's doing and what needs to be done with it. Well, I have my last load. I didn't go in when I said I was going to go in. I came down, I was going to say came downstairs, kind of I came downstairs, came down below the boulder wall to load up the mule, what I had taken from up above. And there was some trees in here some other, uh, a lot of vines. So what I did was, this is the start of the bottom of the staircase going up. So what I did was got inside here and I took a lot of trees out and <clears throat> all these daylilies here, I had to clip back because they've been a good food source for the deer. Um, obviously they don't touch the rhododendrons over there. But I'll slowly swing around. This is the whole area that 
I worked on from up above, from top down, and then this is where I cleaned out a lot, this one little corner here. I feel like I have a spider crawling on me. Um, so that <clears throat> that is it. I'm officially done for the day. I'm going to tackle uh, another day over here. I don't want to touch the the raspberries. We do have a lot of raspberry bushes right now. And I want to come back out and pick these um, before the little critters get them because I've been munching on them as I've been working along and they are delicious. But over here, you can see right here, there was a large tree that was growing. So this is the next section that I will be working on. And I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to touch the uh, um, the milkweed up there because the uh, butterflies and the bees just love it. But this is the other section right here. It's kind of buried, but that's the other side of the staircase. And <clears throat> I will get to that eventually. But for right now, I'm going to call it quits. And we will... When I come back out and I do a little bit more, um, I will give you an update and we will keep with the gardening. Well, I'm officially done for the day and <clears throat> I'm going to go and take a nice hot shower, get cleaned up because I am dirt from head to toe. So <clears throat> I just finished here weeding. I love my little rain chain. Um, but unfortunately, this is on such a slope here, I lose a lot of my mulch. So I've decided that I'm going to have to get another load of mulch in and raise it up along the edge of the um, grass here. But it's really starting to shape up. I really put in a hard day's work. Um, but I got all of this here. There was vines growing on the top of here and I didn't want it to interfere. Uh, with my azalea and <clears throat> so I got that all cleaned off and then I proceeded to weed the uh, junipers here and so far so good um, I have half of it done well three quarters of it done I just have this little tiny section right here to do but I'm really really happy with what I've done today. Um, I just have to be diligent and continue to come out each day as I as I feel like it. Um, but I think maybe some of the heavier stuff um, I'm going to have my good buddy Lou who works over at our office. I may have him come in and get in the thicket of things and then he can just pass things to me and I can load them in the mule but it's really come really coming together nicely and this poor wall has not seen daylight in years so I'm really happy that I oh there's a dragonfly let me see if I can get up to it whoop there it is did you see it oh no he went off he went off, but they're going to be, they are going to be here because of the milkweed. So I'm going to show you one last spot. Um, my landscapers are coming in tomorrow and I'm going to do a redo up front. So let me take you up there and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a nice hot shower. So tomorrow my landscaper is going to come in this front section of our entranceway is really overgrown and <clears throat> it's been neglected for years and I'm going to have him take all of this out. We have a beautiful Japanese maple here. Uh, I have a couple of them. This one is turning red already which kind of alarms me but <clears throat> you can see here I have got a lot of dead stock and I've got some pine trees growing up so this section is going to be totally ripped out and I'm going to have him put, um, I'm just going to have him sod it so I can mow in this section. I have a 
peony bush here that really hasn't done anything. Uh, I'm going to have him transplant that. I'm going to have him move up here. This is a side bank, and I'm going to have him put rhododendrons up here. I'll have him put that peony, and I'm just going to do uh, rhododendrons and uh, mulch. So that way I don't have to get up in that corner with my riding mower and try to tackle that. But down here I'm going to have him rip everything out. Um, these, of course, these are all weeds. I do have a rhododendron here, and I'll probably have him pull this out, transplant it up above, right up here, maybe right near that rock. Um, I have some really pretty, I call these bluebells. I'm going to see if I can transplant these uh, because these are such sweet flowers. But again, you can see where the deer have come and they've nipped all the tops off. They love these. So they've been eating these. You can see right here where the deer have eaten them. So I'm going to try to transplant them. The day lilies, again, uh, I'm surprised I have this many because the deer eat all of these. And then up here along this wall, uh, he's going to clean all this up and I'm going to put sod in here and mow it. It used to have sod in it and then I got the harebrained idea of uh, mulching because I didn't want to. Look at these weeds. I have a really big thistle here. That'll be coming out. I've got this jolly green giant of a weed growing. Uh, but I had the harebrained idea of mulching this. I did this back in 2016 and now I wish I hadn't. Uh, but so he's going to tackle this side first and then over here I showed you this. Look at the size of these thistles. They are just nuts. These are coming out. Um, but I'm going to be keeping my ferns that is my wildflower section down there. I'll have him transplant some stuff so the deer can feed and eat down there. But this here, he's going, this will be the next one. He's going to be tackling this because as you can see, it's just overgrown. Uh, the deer get in here, they decimate anything that I'm trying to grow. I've planted some beautiful flocks in here, tall flocks. They ate all of them. They do not go for the ferns, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, Chet dig up the ferns and he's going to be planting them around these boulders here and we'll make some beds out of them and then the iris will stay, the wild iris, uh, and then wherever there is no plantings we are going to do uh, we are going to go and do sod and then I can uh, I'll be able to mow in here and take better care of it um, this here I had a birch tree an old birch tree taken down and then I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna I'll have a mulch around this and he'll have to bring in a special tool uh, but we'll plant some ferns in here and then just mulch it and then the rest will be lawn so I'm anxious for you to see uh, what happens out here. I have a few more things that, these are beautiful, beautiful shrubs. I can't remember the name of them, but these should be about four feet tall now. And the deer, again, the deer come and eat these. And I may have to have him dig these up. They've decimated my hostas, the couple little, and these were huge. So I don't mind the deer coming and feasting, but um, if I pay good money for a shrub, I really don't want them devouring them. So I wanted to show you this section here. I've already dug some daylilies up, you can see here, because these daylilies are special daylilies. I'm surprised they haven't gotten my black-eyed Susan. but. You can see I dug another one up here and one over there. Um, but this is going to look a lot different. I'd say probably within a two-week time frame. And I will show you the end results of this. But I'm very excited about this here. Um, so that is it. That is going to 
conclude this gardening video. I hope you enjoyed what I did. Um, I'll continue with progress because I know everybody likes to see it. And it is fun. It's fun for me. It want, makes me want to get out here and do more. So you can hear my mule running in the background. So I'm going to dump my last load and then I'm going to go in and maybe I'll even have a cold brewski today. I'm, I'm hot. I'm tired. So <sighs> thanks everybody for joining in. I hope everybody's well. I hope you're getting outside and I will see you in my next video. Alrighty, bye-bye.